I've had people ask this question here. Why do Christians focus so much on one sin and all these other sins going on? That's a good question. And it's a question that's easy to answer. And let me ask it this way. How many times have you had the federal government or anybody else try to push lying down your throat? Try to tell you that it's lying is okay. Try to get you to accept. Try to make laws that, that, that say lying is okay. Have you ever had that? How many times have you ever had the federal government or anybody else to try to, or, or, or people who like to um, steal, to try to convince you that stealing is okay? You ever had them try to pass laws to try to convince you that it's okay for somebody to steal and to force you to let somebody steal from you? Have you ever had the federal government tell you that it's okay for you to, say, um, kill someone or well, murder someone? You ever had the federal government make laws to try to tell you that it's okay for us to murder people? And, and, and try to get you to accept murder and try to tell you that you can't speak about it and that any mention of you speaking about murdering or stealing or lying or any of those things would be hate crime? You ever had the federal government do that? No. So we don't think about stuff like that. There are only really two areas of religion, so to speak, that the federal government has gotten involved in that has pushed Christians to have to speak out. Number one, it started with prayer in schools. They attacked religion. At that time, prayer in school was a big thing. Prayer in school was a part of the majority conversation. Why? Because they brought it to the forefront, and Christians shouldn't keep quiet. Then it was the abortion. Abortion was the next big item that came on the scene. It became part of the forefront. Why? Because they pushed it to the forefront, and it became a, a big issue for Christians to speak up. Oh, and now in our day and time, homosexuality and gay marriage has now been pushed to the forefront by the government and by those who want us to accept it. You see, it's not Christians who are making a big deal out of things. It's the people who want us to accept those things who are making a big deal out of those things. And now we're having to respond to those things that they're making a big deal out of. We're having to respond to those things that they're forcing on us and that they're trying to push on us. And if you don't, try, and if you don't think they're trying to push it on us, just wait. We're seeing it right now. Christians are being sued because they won't serve people. Churches right now are already being sued because they won't perform gay marriages. And it's just a matter of time before a minister in a pulpit is going to be sued by someone who will not, uh, 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 by someone who said that the preacher was preaching against homosexuality. That person is going to be sued because they were speaking hate speech. We're not the ones who are pushing stuff. To the forefront. We're not the ones who are focusing on one sin. The federal government and those who want us to accept immorality is pushing this stuff on us and we're having to respond. And let me tell you something. We cannot stop responding. I don't care what anybody said. You cannot judge why you're always picking out one sin. You cannot allow people to try to silence you from doing what's right, and that is standing up. And I'm going to tell you something. As long as gay marriage is on the forefront, that's got to be our focus, one of our focuses. As long as homosexuality is on the forefront, that's got to be one of our focuses. While we focus on all immorality as much as we can in our local communities, in our homes, and in our churches, when something comes to the forefront, somebody has got to rise and be willing to stand and fight against the evil and yes gay marriage and homosexuality with all the love i can muster is evil because it keeps the souls of the individual or, or who are in it out of heaven and as a child of god we should want everyone to go to heaven and to do all we can to teach them how to get there god bless you